Have you ever been in a situation where you're on shoot and you needed to transfer your photos onto your iPad, your iPhone, or whatever device to upload them like yesterday? If that's you, then today I'm gonna to be talking about FTP in and the fastest way to transfer your files from your camera to your phone and straight up onto the web, wherever you wanna send it. What's going on YouTube? You are locked into KISS where I cut out all of my usual waffle and I keep it simple. Today, I'm talking about FTP, file transfer protocol. If you are tired of using one of these cables to transfer all of your files or connecting directly to the camera, FTP will have the solution. What you'll need to make it work is some form of device, an iPad, an iPod, an iPhone, whatever you have to your dispense. So the easiest route that I've found to make this work is by using an app called Files. There are plenty of these apps on the App Store that are similar. This one just works well for me. It's a free version, so you don't have to pay anything and you get quite a lot in return. What you'll need after you have your devices is something that will hold your connection, something that will allow data transfer, i.e. a router. For best results, you always want a router with a connection to the internet. If you are out on the field, I would recommend having not only a phone, that can tether but then another device it doesn't have to have capabilities to use the internet but another device to host applications and processing in simple terms you grab your camera you take your shot once you set up your FTP you get that transfer through your phone as it's acting like the wireless network that will go to your iPod another iPhone or an iPad and then from there you may want to edit the photos and then upload them to Instagram or Twitter or put them on a drive or send them to a client however your workflow works for you. Personally, I found it most useful when I go out and I'm doing sports photography. It helps with narrating live stats and keeping people up to date. So once you have the app open, what you want to do is go into the settings on the bottom tab, scroll down and select FTP sharing. You go into your sharing settings and you enable it. Once enabled, you can set your own username and password, which you will need for the camera when it comes to transferring over your files. On your camera, make sure that your PC remote, your control with smartphone, phone, um, anything that will require a connection to another source is off. Select FTP transfer function. I personally like to leave my transfer on JPEG only. Change all of the relevant settings that you would need. So if you only want to transfer JPEGs, then you can do so. Or if you want to transfer RAWs and edit through that way, then it's completely up to you. However, you want to plan your workflow. Here comes the part where most people trip up on. So what you want to do is you want to go into your server settings, select a default server, change the name if you want to so that you know which device you are going to be FTPing to and you want to just input the host name. Now the host name will be on the first page of the settings tab in the files app just under sharing settings. So after you get the colon semicolon looking thing don't enter that part in. Press OK and then go down to port. Now port is where you put the numbers in after that semicolon part that I told you not to bother with. So in this instance I've set mine up to 2525 and then make sure you go to OK. Now your directory settings are not that important. However, it is good to name them. So once you set that file name up, when you go to the actual content within the app, you'll see that file name set up. So it's nice and easy for you to remember and know where to find your files. I'm going to name mine A7. Now I like to take off the overwrite settings just in case I make a mistake with anything. I don't want to delete anything that I might need in the future. Now, something else that's quite important is the username and password. So if you go back into the sharing settings, you'll see username and password. In this instance, I'm just going to put Marv as the username and Marv as the password, both on my iPad or your device and then into the camera. Once that is done, come out by going to OK, Select the server on the left. A step that I forgot to tell you guys, make sure your camera is actually connected to the internet. Mine wasn't. So just make sure you go to the appropriate settings for that. Make sure it's all done. Once you've entered in everything, it's good practice to just close and open the app because I find that sometimes it just doesn't work. Once it's connected, your FTP logo will turn white from being orange. Simply go into your photos, Select the photo. I've got my setup for individual transfer for the C2 button. I 
press the C2 button, you get a little arrow that pops up to say things are happening. You go back into files, let's put this down. You'll see that there is now a file named A7 and the files are now sitting there. My only problem with this is that on this iPad, I have not got a raw editor. I suggest using something like Darkroom, which is free of charge and will allow you to edit photos on the fly. If you wanted to get into more detail, then I would suggest using Lightroom for any raw editing. If you have any more questions on what I've done today, please leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to help. I've had my fair share of problems with FTP in, so any advice I could lend, I'd be more than happy to. If this video has been useful to you, please leave a like down below. It helps me grow. It gives me more motivation to keep making more videos like this. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. There'll be plenty more videos like this aimed to help you speed up your workflow. Until the next one, peace.